Jade Wool, Monday's hearing at U.S. District Court in Fort Pierce focuses on a law that prevents classified information like the information in the document seized here at Mar-a-Lago from being disclosed in court. That's to protect sensitive government information. Now, former senior trial attorney with the Department of Justice and criminal defense attorney here in South Florida, Richard Serafini, is weighing in on the upcoming hearing. That's important um, because it'll, it, it will ultimately uh, determine how critical evidence is shown to the jury. Serafini outlines what he thinks former President Trump's defense team will push for on Monday. I suspect the, uh, the, uh, the, the defense will argue that the documents need to be seen in their entirety uh, in order for there to be a fair trial. Uh, the, the point of making that argument is it puts the Justice Department and between a rock and a hard place. That's because Serafini says Trump's defense team calling to declassify the documents could make the government possibly consider dismissing some of Trump's counts to protect classified information. Serafini also says if the judge's ruling Monday is to keep the information classified, Trump's lawyers could possibly use that down the road. I certainly could see the defense and dependents if they are convicted arguing that uh, the redactions or the summaries, whatever ultimately is uh, is decided upon, uh, withdrew certain critical information from the jury, and therefore, therefore there was a uh, a legal uh, mistake that resulted in a trial that wasn't fair for the defense. Now, Serafini says Monday's hearing will likely last a day. Trump has pleaded not guilty to all of these charges and says they're politically motivated. As of now, the trial is set to begin May 20th. Reporting live on Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.